Bean, thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Bridget Bennett. And I'm Tim Seaman. It seems that Siouxland soybean farmers really just can't seem to catch much of a break this year. First, uh, pushing through that historically late planting season, and then concerns over the painted lady butterfly attacking local fields. Now, soybeans have a new destructive pest to contend with, one that right now does not have a solution. KCAU 9 reporter Marina Bach tells us how Iowa State University is working on that solution to stop the new gall midge bug. The gall midge was first identified as a species last December. Right now, entomologists do not know much about the insect or bug, but with research, they are learning more about how this insect is connected to soybeans and then its overall life cycle. You know, and it's causing damage, uh, affecting yield, and that's the bottom line. Terry Tuttle's Iowa State Research Field has more than 110 acres of soybeans infested with the bright orange insect. Midge has done, you know, damage. It's, it's in this particular case, it's easy to see. Other fields, it's a little harder to find, but they're there, and uh, it's more widespread than people think. Soybean farmers in Nebraska first noticed the gall midge in 2011. Since then, it has continued to spread to neighboring states. They feed on the base of soybean plants. Uh, as they get close to pupating, it's got a complete life cycle, so the pupate, they'll drop off into the soil and they'll pupate, and then they'll become an adult and start the next cycle. The insect is only an eighth of an inch long and feeds inside the soybean plant. And that's what makes it really tough to control them because you can't get uh, insecticides to control them to them because they're underneath the skin. Right now, farmers have no way to stop the insect, and it's already impacting yields. We're trying all sorts of treatments. Uh, we'll find out at the end of the season if we see anything statistically significant. Uh, right now, it doesn't look very promising at this stage of the game, but we're going to see what happens. While researchers continue to look for ways to stop the bug, their main focus this year is to prevent the bug from spreading. Iowa State is recommending farmers who have seen gall midge in their fields to not transfer soil from one field to the other, especially with spring and fall tillage coming up. In Sutherland, Marina Bach, KCAU 9 News.